In this quick but interesting analysis, we'll take a look at what's probably the next breakthrough aircraft, only for a twist. This aircraft itself isn't the main breakthrough, rather it is the technologies it brings with it that could spark a revolution in the future of flying, making aviation cleaner and leaner in its carbon emissions. Before we take a look at the aircraft in question, if you're new to the channel, a warm welcome and do stay tuned for more great videos on the way, both epic comparisons and detailed analysis like this one. Right, let's take a look at the development of this aircraft. So the aircraft in question, the e x was first announced publicly in 2017, but in fact has been in the works since 2016. It was launched as part of a European-wide cooperation with the aim of reducing carbon emissions by 75% under the European Commission's Flight Path 2050 vision. As of now, it is a joint venture between Airbus and Rolls-Royce. Since then, more have been recruited to work on this new aircraft type. In August of 2019, the generator powering one of the engines was run for the first time in Norway. This was the first step before it was integrated into an AE2100 turboprop from a Saab 2000 feeding the battery pack and a Siemens SP2000 electric motor. This will replace one of the aircraft's old fuel guzzling engines. As of the 4th of February 2020, the EFANX was already undergoing wind tunnel testing to evaluate its aerodynamic efficiency. So what then is the EFAN X? Well, the shape of the EFAN X does look awfully similar to another aircraft type, one that was recently covered on someone else's YouTube channel and not known for buttering. Yes, of course. The EFAN X is based on the BAE 146RJ100 airframe, an aircraft which took to the skies nearly 40 years ago in 1992. This is probably to reduce the risk and costs of developing this prototype that will test new technologies. However, while based on the old design, it has been severely modernized with the theme of electrification. What then are the changes? One of the four ALF502 engines have been replaced by a new 2 megawatt motor, which is of course connected to a turbofan to produce similar levels of thrust. Also, new large externally mounted heat exchangers for the liquid cooling systems as well as intakes and an exhaust for the fuselage mounted power generation systems make up for the rest of the changes. However, as the design of the aircraft wasn't specifically tailored for these to be installed, engineers will have to test the effects that these changes have on the overall aerodynamics and flying characteristics of the aircraft. Even Airbus admits the EFANX is a demonstrator for these new technologies, thus it may not be optimized aerodynamically. However, the main point of testing is the electrical systems. The new 2 megawatt motor represents a 60 times jump over previous electric motors on aircraft. Thus, Airbus wants to investigate thermal effects, electric thrust management, altitude, and dynamic effects on electric systems. It will also set certification requirements for electrically powered aircraft. Interesting to note, the EFANX will be able to run with half the number of engines in flight, as the motor is powerful enough to provide 50% of thrust needed. However, a four-engine basis was selected as a safety precaution when testing these new technologies. So then, when will you be able to buy a ticket to try it out? Well, never. The EFANX is purely for research purposes, with no plans to commercialize it. Still, this represents the biggest leap yet toward hybrid aircraft in the future. Airbus has made their interest firm in launching the next single out to be based on an electrified platform. First flight of the EFANX is currently scheduled for 2021, about one year behind schedule. Still, the airplane productions wishes Airbus clear skies ahead in pushing this technology forward, reducing carbon emissions and making our skies even cleaner and clearer. Thanks for watching till the end of this one and do stay tuned for more great detailed analysis and epic comparisons on the way. Till we meet next time, 
wishing you a truly clear sky ahead.